I'm Julia and this is my CNC lathe. So I recently bought um, this uh, Denford Novaturn lathe. Um, it needed a little bit of work uh, on the electronic side. One of the uh, chips had burnt out and damaged the uh, PCB. Uh, but I got that working uh, last week. I uh, didn't do any video on that but it was um, quite an interesting fix. Um, so it's now fully functional. I've got all the software set up and uh, yeah, starting to use it. Now when I uh, when I bought it, I didn't have any tooling to go in these holes. As you can see, I've sort of lashed something up for, as a centre drill holder. Um, but I managed to find the drawings uh, for the proper, are they called collets? So I've, I've started to make some here. Um, what I'd actually like to do is make, make a few more um, because I'd quite like to have a few um, drill holders on as well. So I haven't actually done that yet. So I thought it'd be a good um, opportunity to introduce the lathe and uh, show it working. So the, f the first job is to cut some more 45mm uh, length blanks from this uh, free cutting mild steel. Um, it's one inch diameter basically. Um, so the, the final length of most of the most of the tools is 40 mil. So I think it, with 45 that gives me a bit of wiggle room for not sawing very accurately. Okay, so we'll uh, get on the bandsaw and uh, cut some more blanks. So that's uh, five uh, blanks cut from e it's uh, EN1A, I think, which is free cutting mild steel. Uh, as you can see, the lengths aren't particularly accurate, but it doesn't really matter. And the lengths aren't critical. So, um, yeah, we'll get this in the lathe. We'll get one in the lathe and I'll, I'll show you um, I'll show you a machining cycle. computer set up and then we'll uh, crack on. So I'm currently using the manufacturer's software um, which is called uh, VR turning. So the first thing we'll do is connect to the machine. You can see now we've got um, we're in the home position and every and the, the Z and the what X axis are, are in red. So we, we just tell it to home and then that means we can access some of the other stuff. So the other thing we need is the offsets screen and obviously we need to load up our uh, file that we, uh, we need to access. So this is, um, this, this is going to make this, this end, which is the end that goes into the lathe. Right then, so um, now now we've we've homed. We now move to the jog screen, and what we're going to do is is use the jog keys, which are the the number keys. So I've I've got a a remote keypad, which which just allows me to to move show you that. So I'm using the cursor keys. There we go. So um, on this jog screen we've got two modes. We've got fast mode which we're in at the moment and we've got the slow mode. So I'm going to move the slow mode up to half a mil initially and then the fast mode can stay at 500 initially as well. 
So um, what I'm going to do, use, do now is is, is um, basically use the job keys to face off the end of the workpiece. So the file I've got loaded um, assumes that the workpiece is, has pretty much been uh, faced off, which obviously it isn't at the moment. So we'll do that manually and then we'll basically because I haven't figured out how to do that yet in the um, CAM software but um, we'll face off and I can show you that uh, on the machine using the job keys. Okay so the first job is to get, uh, we, we've got uh, tool number one which is the roughing tool so we need to get that somewhere near the end of our piece of work. So this is 500, uh, I think it's feet, millimetres per minute or something like that, so it's quite quick. Okay, so we're within about two or three mil now, so what, I'll, what I'm going to do now is move to the, um, the slower speed on half a mil, so I think we're just out touching there. Um, so next job is start the spindle. We go on to, on to, on to fast, fast jog for about a hundred millimeters per minute. And we'll start facing off the part. So I've, I've, um, we haven't got the, the safety screen in place at the moment. We're starting to face off but we've still got some more to do. Uh, I've got the safety screen off for filming. Um, we're not making a lot of chips at this point but when we get into the main machining I will have the safety cover over because chips just go absolutely everywhere. So uh, we'll infeed it by about half a mil there and then we'll face off again. And that's pretty good. So without um, changing the Z position, which is in, in towards the spindle, what I need to do now is tell them tell the software that the where the tool is, is the start of the work piece. So I'll just show you how we do that. Okay, so we do that using the offsets. So you can see we've got X offset and Z offset. Now, if you look on the program section here, you can see Z at the moment is minus 1.8, and we want that to actually be zero. So the way we do that is to use this um, targets thing and we just no clearance just hit OK and you'll see that now the Z is pretty much zeroed it's as close to zero as possible within the confines of the machine so so now the program is zeroed um, you can see X is at just under 27 and I can see we're a couple of mil clear of the workpiece um, so I don't think that needs adjusting, um, that's been still as it was set from the last time I used the um, machine. Okay, so um, what we can do now is go to auto mode, uh, I'll have to bring you out a bit, okay, hang on then, let's hit play. So the first thing it does is it just goes back to the home position so it can check its zeros. And we're just using a continuous RPM. So it's, it is doing a facing cut but not actually removing any, any material. Um, 
1.5 mil off the diameter. done. I'll put the camera in a different position so you can see it um, working somewhere else. So I'll give you a close-up of um, facing off using the job keys now. To, um, to small step mode now. I think we're about touching there. So we'll uh, start the spindle, see what happens. <laughs> Z, which is at 1.3. So now that's at naught. I'll just uh, reset the camera and then we'll start um, the program.
that's another part done. So as you can see it's rather quick using the CNC lathe. So I'll get the other ones done and uh, that'll be it. So that's five parts made and as you can see I mean I'm only taking uh, what six mil off the diameter and we've generated a huge amount of swarf just doing that so I've had people suggest uh, you should take just not bother with the protective screen but when you see how much swarf is flying around when it's running at you know normal speed I think I'll uh, I think I will keep the cover on because <laughs> uh, otherwise we're just going to get the workshop is just going to be swarf city so there we go, a, a, a very brief overview of the Denford um, Nova Turn lathe. Um, I hope you found that interesting. If, if you'd like to see more um, CNC uh, content in, on my channel, let me know um, in the comments, really, because I'm not really sure how much interest there is in CNC machining. It's quite niche. Um, but if you'd like to see more, uh, do let me know. Um, because we do have a, a milling machine as well, <laughs> the Denford Nova Mill. There's quite a bit of scope for CNC content if that's what people want to see. So um, yeah, let me know in the in the comments. So anyway, I hope you found that interesting. Uh, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.